How's it going everyone? We got the Rogue Ally here and we're going to be looking at Armored Core Verdict Day. Um, I did try out the game once already. It was running smoothly, had no complaints. Uh, I was getting over 30 FPS. Uh, I was very happy with that. If we look at the game configuration settings here, uh, really haven't changed anything here. We're in the recompiler, recompiler, leaving everything there. Under the GPU settings here, we're leaving it actually under 720p. Uh, we could probably go a little higher, but that's perfectly fine. Async, we're going to leave that on as well. We're going to close this tab, and we're going to start our game here. Very difficult doing, you know, using the finger. Now, we do have the power cable connected here. And if we go here, we are under the turbo mode right now. So we have it under 30, but as some of you have seen, sometimes the APU will take up more than 30 watts. Uh, right now, you can see it right here on the top right side. And right below it, you can see also the FPS. It does take a while sometimes to load up the game. So just be patient. There's no rush. Here we go. The nice thing about this right now is the controller is already set up to work just fine. I'll get closer to the camera right now so we can get a better look at it. Now, I know I could connect a uh, Xbox controller just using the USB Type-C here. Um, if you want, especially like if you're on the go, connect it to a TV. If you're staying at a hotel or something, take out your Xbox controller, connect this to the TV, and you're ready to go. You know. It's almost like you have a PS3, you know, handheld right here. So this is usually the same machine, you know, that I test out on the other videos. Like I said, we are running at 720p. It is, it does have to recompile those shaders since I'm just loading it up. I just transferred all my files. Still 32 watts for the APU, 30 FPS still. Notice the temperatures are somewhat high. Um, you know, we are running an emulator. It is very demanding. All right. Let's get started. As I mentioned, we are getting 30 FPS here. I'm very surprised. I'm actually very surprised how smooth it's running considering that on a 5800X uh, Ryzen, it does struggle to run sometimes. Um, and I do drop under 30, but right now we are running perfectly smooth 30 FPS. to make sure I keep it in camera view. Like I said, it's very surprising. 30 FPS, solid the entire first mission here. Um, plenty of NPCs, you know, that were fighting or enemies. 
but the game runs extremely smooth. Like I said, we could turn on uh, right shader buffers, but if you look at it, it's looking pretty good. So if you want to get some practice in before Armored Core 6 comes out, I suggest you get a pre-order in. Um, I got mine in. I actually got it for like 46, 47. Um, you know, if you're really looking for, you know, a mobile gaming platform, um, I've been really happy with this. I will say, uh, Tears of the Kingdom runs pretty good. Um, there's some issues with Vulcan at the moment, but it runs. So I hope you found this video helpful and see you around YouTube.